with Sarah Asari. She's a criminal defense attorney. And Sarah, as Lucy just laid out there, you have the attorney for the chief lighting technician saying guns only fire when someone pulls the trigger. But you have Alec Baldwin saying he didn't pull it. And now a lawyer for the movie's assistant director corroborating Baldwin's claim that he never pulled the trigger. Is it important to get to the bottom of this? Yeah, Anna, so, you know, that assistant director is going like this, right? He's also blaming uh, the armor as the sole responsible person here. But we have to remember that, um, and, and I'm no gun expert, I'm not a Second Amendment girl, but I can write the script on potential liability here. And the idea is that a gun is a piece of machinery. I mean, it could potentially accidentally discharge for a variety of reasons, but I'm always skeptical of a shooter who says he didn't shoot. Um, we have one person saying his finger was not on the trigger, another percent person saying, yes, it was. Um, and yeah, it is important to get to the bottom of this, but I don't think it changes Baldwin's liability here. Baldwin was the producer. He wasn't just an actor who was relying on the safety of a, a prop being given to him. And so even if we have these additional category of people liable, the uh, owner of the prop store who provided the ammunition, uh, you know, the, the gun manufacturer, uh, distributor, seller, whoever the, it pr basically gave birth to this gun that made it uh, on the set could potentially be liable here if, in fact, this was an accidental discharge or some sort of a defect. But again, that category of liability is just an added a level of liability. It doesn't take away from the liability of the crew members who had a duty mm -hmm. and Alec Baldwin who had a superior duty as a producer. We're also learning about the detective who carried out the search warrant at the Albuquerque prop store where the live rounds found on the movie set are believed to have been supplied. And as Lucy reported, they found additional suspected live rounds. This is according to the court documents. We had a chance to talk with a, another seasoned prop expert who tells CNN it's, it's very unusual to find live ammunition at a gun prop business. Unfortunately, we're having some technical difficulties with Sarah today, so I'm gonna wrap things up here. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. Got the tech gremlins today. We're gonna continue.